Hey guys, Lister here. I'm back for another tutorial. This is going to be a tutorial on T-Edit, which is a world editor for Terraria. So, getting straight into it, the first thing you need to do is go to this website. I'll put a link in the description. And you obviously want to download the newest one for Terraria 1.3.2. When you download that, you'll get this file. I'll delete my current one just so that you can see exactly how to do it. Uh, you're going to need a program called WinRAR. I'll put a, win, or a link in the description for that as well. So you just right click, once you have this file downloaded, right click, extract the t-edit beta, and it'll come out in a folder. Open that up, and if you scroll down, you'll see t-edit xna. Double click that to open it. It'll, it should ask you, well, if for obviously because I've run it before, it hasn't asked me, but when you run for the first time, it'll ask you where your Terraria is currently installed. Just go through your, most people will have it on Steam, but even if you don't, just go into your program files, find Terraria, and just select it. You don't actually need to select it, but it stops the wee prompt coming up each time. So if we go to full screen here, uh, basically this is a lot of the stuff you can edit pretty easily. This is, you can make the blood moon happen, eclipse, what time of day it is in the world, change the world name. Is it raining? All that good stuff. So to open a world, you just need to go to File, Open. Now it'll be in Documents, My Games, and if you scroll to the bottom, Terraria. Open that up. Now the first thing you want to do here is back up your world. So just copy, paste them in, and you'll get a copy of them so that you have a, co a complete backup of all your worlds because. If one gets corrupted or you mess it up, you're screwed. You'll lose the whole thing. So just open up your worlds. I'm going to open up world one here. So let that load. Right, so that's the world open. Uh, to move about, like pan, use your middle uh, scroller wheel, click, and that allows you to just pan across and about. You can zoom in and out. And you know it's very easy to move about. So if we zoom right in here, you get a far better view. As you can see, it's really detailed. It's basically as detailed as the game is. So the first thing is this point tool. If you click it, you can actually select where your uh, NPCs go, along with the dungeon spawn. So. I'm not sure how the dungeon works. I don't know if you could go ahead and make your own dungeon and then make that the spawn or if it's just the spawn for the actual dungeon master, the guy, the old guy that stands on top. So I can just easily click spawn and move it here, up here, you know, wherever I want. And it means when I jump into the game, the spawn will be there, you know, instead of using a bed. So it's pretty handy. And uh, the next thing we want to do is actually using it to modify things. So if we click this selection tool. So what I'm going to use as an example here. See this big area here, which I've built the bridge over. If I wanted to fill that all in, I could just click. Obviously, I've done a wee wooden thing, but say we just filled this in. If I click here. I can just select this whole area and then if I hit the fill dirt black select whatever you want so I'll go with stone say and just click inside the selection box it'll change in selections obviously so all your trees within that area all the dirt but you know it's pretty quick to just fill all that in. Just bang, 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 you know, so that's it all filled in. And if you just hit escape there, you can see it's all stone. Obviously it looks crap, but you know, you can do it with dirt or whatever. Another way to do things is the pencil, which would be for drawing, really. So I could just draw a wee smiley face here. And that'll be in my world. 
you can also draw in a straight line if you right click instead of left click it'll make sure you don't go off the track so if I click there and go left but if I go down I'm still going left and if you click left and right at the same time it'll make sure you get a perfectly straight line up and down so the pencil is one block in size you can select wall so you know if I quickly just oh left click instead quickly just yeah, a small wee house there then I can actually select wall wood wall turn the tile off and I there you go I can which obviously it's easier to just go that select the inside fill wall click and there's it done so hit escape and now I've got the wall done and then you can put all your stuff inside it uh, you can also use the brush tool which allows you to select a width and height so I can actually just place full blocks and it works the same right click allows me to go straight and left and right click keeps me going straight up and down so you can build whatever you want quite quickly with those tools and just a wee demonstration a lot of people would maybe use this to build a sky bridge so what you could do is bring that uh, one by one block maybe zoom in a bit here and take that wall off hit tile now it's hard to see but if I go and right click I can quickly just do a sky bridge the whole way along that the whole way along the world takes out a good 20 minutes work and there you go it's done you know easy and you can make it out of whatever you want uh, the final thing you can do which I'm going to show you the, in this tutorial is if you use the arrow tool I can actually go into this specific chest by right clicking and as you can see I can change what's in it it's, it's, it's quite hard to change but you know because there is so much but I could put in I think you can actually type but it'll only give you your first so there's all the R's if I go to S I should be able to get a shiny red balloon what we look for it here shiny red balloon and then you can make it I think angry is one of them or I can't remember the other ones but you know you have to make sure it's one for the shiny red balloon like there's one that gives you four defense one gives you four speed and stuff like that and then you click that area and change another one go for statue another one anything so then when you go up to that chest in your world that'll be there you can easily do that with your like your dungeon there too go down oh, go down into your dungeon right click that so there's a torch in that obviously I've already took most of the stuff out of it silver bar there's some ore you know so it's a very powerful tool I could easily build really cool houses there and it's really fast put all my NPCs in it put all the torches in it no problem and you can also put in liquids I've built massive river or like lakes before underground there's also there's actually a I think it's a it's called the blood tongue in the crimson where if you fish within a crimson lake that has more than a certain amount of blocks you have a chance to get the blood tongue and I actually just built the river underground along with a honey or not a river a lake underground along with a honey lake and a water lake so that I could fish within them all and they're all joined up you know so you can do some pretty cool things with it and basically you could just easily elevator straight to the bottom make full runways along your hell you know it's very very powerful and it's really handy too if you want to make 
some nice wee designs or some cool houses so hope you guys enjoyed the tour the tutorial um i hope it was informative for you and if you have any more questions or any other tutorials you would like me to do please please throw them my way and i'll see what i can do and i'll see you in the next one bye